Hey there guys, and we are back with Age of Empires 2, the HD edition, so this music may be a bit loud, I changed it to the Age of Kings music to start this off. Uh, so a couple things, there are some animation bugs with the HD edition right now still, um, I believe it's like uh, mostly cavalry and champions, they, their idol animations are a little off and that kind of bothers me, but whatever. For now I'll go ahead with the tutorial since they're not that long and yeah. Uh, anything else? Not really. There's two ways you can get to the tutorial. You can go to learn to play here which takes you right into it. Um, I've already played the first one but obviously I'm going to play that over. There's seven uh, scenarios actually. Usually um, th these are the entire thing's called a campaign and usually each uh, individual map is called a scenario in this game. You can also go to single player, then Age of Kings campaigns, and then uh, go to William Wallace down here, which is fun away in England and not Scotland, but whatever. It doesn't really matter, but you know. Um, <laughs> the, the presentation in this game is really nice as well, with the backgrounds and stuff like that. Uh, right, so I don't think there's really anything else I want to do. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got my name here, yep. The, the music should be just about right, I hope, um, so that should be good. Uh, right, so I'm not going to be able to do a lot of talking because the intro is quite long and there is a cutscene before every battle and the, the end of every scenario basically. So uh, yeah, I'm going to shut up and we're going to go uh, to the first map which is called Marching and Fighting. Now the first five are relatively short so I should be able to do these pretty quickly, so yeah. But yeah, William Wallace, um, first scenario. Age of Empires 2 is about empire building, combat and conquest. You start from humble beginnings, a small village in the Dark Ages. You explore to expand your borders, conduct trade to boost your economy, and research technologies to grow your civilization into a mighty empire. But there are difficulties too. Cunning enemies and rivals that oppose you, powerful castles to destroy, tyrants to bring down. And if you're skillful and a little lucky, you just might build a wonder of the world and create an empire that will stand the test of time. To learn how empires are built, help our first hero, William Wallace, in his fight against his oppressors. We are without a leader. The dead king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south, where Edward Longshanks, the avaricious king of England, has returned from successful campaigns to conquer Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the highlands. English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. But we must act soon if we have any chance of resistance. We need to forge an army by any means necessary. All right, so that is the intro. This guy is going to talk a lot more in his accent, so yeah. The English are terrorizing all of Scotland, and it's time for us to fight back. But if we're to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Alright, so some mods that I've got on here. I've got the Age of Kings music playing. Uh, it actually plays the Age of Kings music, then the Conqueror's music after that, if the campaigns get too long, so you won't be stuck hearing the same music looping like it uh, used to, I believe. Uh, the textures I have changed, I spoke about this in Part Zero, which I basically just played a random map just to show off the game a little. Uh, the roads look a little different, but, you know, probably look a little better. I would say this textures, uh, the textures look a bit different. Uh, the only other thing I did leave out is I left the new farm textures in. Now, right -click near the blue flag. Standard movement here. This is a militia. This is probably your weakest unit that you can get and the, the only one you can get in the Dark Age. Then right -click near the flag. 
pretty simple RTS stuff here. You can also click instead of dragging boxes, which is probably quicker for one guy. Uh, but yeah, Militia, they're not very strong. Um, it actually has some bonuses to them that you probably wouldn't have in the Dark Age. So yeah, Fog of War. Yeah, nothing here, so let's just keep going on. Notice that it tells us that uh, our first... Um, the first line tells us what civilization you're pointing as. In this case, it is the Celts, and it will say my name after it. Uh, so yeah, that's just so you know, the Celts are the Scottish in this campaign. Though they can also be Irish. Alright, so we get a couple extra militia and we get a knight. And remember, knights are pretty powerful. Just look at their idle animation, it's kind of off for some reason. But I assume they're eventually going to fix this. So I probably will just play a few cam campaigns of this because it's just a learning campaign anyway. A few scenarios, I should say. That is an outpost, which is a useless building, normally. <laughs> really, no one builds outposts in multiplayer. <laughs> Maybe it would be useful to keep, like, um, line of sight on a certain area, but it's just, it's just generally not useful. I even forget it's a building sometimes. <laughs> So yeah, that sand texture looks a little different. Uh, so another thing they changed is the flame um, sort of animations. A lot of people complained about this, but uh, the original flames didn't look very good, I'll be honest. Uh, they, they, they'd done their job, but they didn't look very good. A lot of people think they look amazing, but they really didn't. And here are the farms as well, and people complain about these as well. People pretty much complain about everything, I know. But uh, I think they work okay. But I could change them to the original. The The thing with the originals is blurry. They're pretty blurry, the original ones. Three militia that are unupgraded. This AI is really dumb as they will run straight past you to get to the flag first. But uh, yeah, it, you're gonna win this so easily. One of my guys took damage, 12 damage. And that is it for the first map and it's gonna go into an R cutscene now I believe. Scotland has soldiers now, if only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we will need many more recruits. Much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be steeped in the blood of clansmen. That's nice. You know, why not? Alright, so that was the first one. Very simple, very straightforward. Next, we're actually going to do some resource gathering. It's a gathering, I should say. So this one is called Feeding the Army. An army marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years, but gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meager forces that we've cobbled together will collapse again. Cobbled. Alright, whatever. Alright, so, get fit. Army, you'll need to build up your stockpile of resources. To win, gather 50 food. I've already 50 started food, gathering. <laughs> 50 gold. To gather food from the forage bush. I've done that. Okay, whatever then, I'll click him again. Right click the forage bush near the blue flag. In the status area at the yeah. bottom of the screen, so he has ten foot. You he's gonna bring it back. The villager is carrying. The villager continues to gather from the forage bush until he's carrying ten food. And yes, this music you will hear it a lot in these uh, scenarios, as they are pretty short in general. 
It's quite a good song, though. The villager will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town center. The amount of food you have is shown so, in the upper left. So, there is our food. We have ten so far. In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold, and stone stockpiles. You can also get some hints if you look at the uh, objectives. Alright. Nah, we'll get everything at the same time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in plain view, but there's also some gold over there. Uh, they don't, they don't uh, get you to gather stone here, because it's a more defensive sort of thing. Yeah. Well, it's not defensive, I would say. It's just not as important, really. So this is a very short one as well. You don't even get attacked in this one or anything. You just got to gather stuff. Very simple, and the majority of what we're going to be doing... Um, let's, let's get you over here to wood. So, yeah, trees you can cut down. Generally, they have about 100 of wood each. There's, there's no, not really any way you're going to run out. Generally, maps have enough wood. You've got to be more concerned about um, gold, really, and stone. Because those are... But at the start, you don't really have that much wood. I'm th pretty sure we just got it. Alright, and that should be it. Well on your way to making a city. And that is it. Yeah, that was even shorter than the last one. <laughs> like I said, short. For all his disrepute has shown military tactics in Wales, England, and France to be very effective. If not cruel and ruthless. He's indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick upon Tweed. Wood. That I could call it a battle, but it was truly more of a massacre. Unless we organize our army, there will be more massacres to follow. I pray we can be ready for Long Shanks coming. All right, so the, the, that was very simple as well. As is going to be our next one and our next one. Uh, so the third one is about training troops. We're gonna go straight into it. Just throughout the Highlands, there is grim talk of skirmishes between Scotland and England. We lost the city of Dunbar this week. Scottish defenders broke ranks and fled. The English have an army that is larger and better trained. To compete with them, we are going to need new recruits to pick up the spear, sword, or bow. We must remake these shepherds into soldiers and we're just going to be training militia in this case which i believe we need food for oh. we will need many soldiers to defend our home just train for all right we'll start oh we cut him off there <laughs> click your town center then click the create villager button so that's just how you create villagers just click that this hotkey is c you can also hotkey to the town center by pressing H. If your town center is selected, you can see the progress in the status area. Good job. The villager has appeared next to your town center. Now, create another village. You need additional housing to support your population. To build a house, click a village. All right, so houses, population. We know this already. Let's make another house. Good job. Try building another house. Each house supports five units. The population indicator at the top of the screen shows your current supportable population. More than one villager builds a building, it will go up faster. Barracks complete. Now, He's just talking a lot. Click the barracks, then click the create. Militia. So you can queue them up. Selecting different you can also shift click to put five down. In the lower left corner of the screen, other buildings are made just like houses. Try building a barracks. barracks I've already made one. A long time ago. Create three more, and you'll have enough 
soldiers to protect his... Amel is a drop-off point for food, so this is good to build it here. And quickly click the Create Militia button three more times to make three soldiers in a row. So here is my Militia. Uh, I think these are the, the base stats. 40 HP, 4 attack, 0 uh, normal armor, and 1 pierce arm. So they're not very strong in comparison to later units, but uh, considering they're the only thing you get to defend yourself with in the Dark Age, they'll do for now. And you can upgrade them to Manet Arms. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Just sit over here. Boom. Alright, we're going to go through the fourth one, and that should be a video, I think. Now that we have militias stationed across the border, the English have slowed their raids. But face it, Long Shang's army will be another matter. The wicked English king has yet to bring his famous longbows to bear. Our militias could only get us so far. We are going to need more advanced weapons. Alright, so number four is about research and technology. Very important, so we're going to go straight into this as well. Rumours creep in from the south of a giant who leads the forces of Scotland, his great sword driving through earth and man and horse alike. If this mythical knight can hold the English advance, it will give us time to develop the arms we need. Even now, our smiths are forging swords, and Fletchers are making arrows and crossbow bolts. That was William Wallace, if you couldn't tell, by the way. That is a lot of units. English use very advanced weapons and armor. To win, you will need to advance to the feudal age and repel the English raid. You're going to need to research some technologies of your own to increase the strength of your civilization. For example, researching loom makes your villagers hard to kill. To research loom, click the town center, then click the research loom button. Good. Researching technology so that is loom. resources. But improves your civilization. I only need 50 gold in order to do it. Villagers to work and use your military units to explode. I guess I could do that, but all right. Let's. You can also uh, shift right click in order to put things down. It helps uh, uh, explore because they basically go around in that pattern. You can also get shore fish. Let's get a couple guys on this. Uh, shore fish just like uh, they just fish for it and then they bring it back to wherever the uh, drop-off point is So we are actually surrounded by a uh, forest here and most of the tutorial maps you are surrounded by forest So you can't really do much So I can actually go up to the feud feudal age That is more sheep I've already got enough I already have enough buildings. I, oh, I built a mill, which is the other building. So you would need to build something else, like a lumber camp or something. I... Let's kill this deer. Come on. There we go. Oh, jeez. They're actually just attacking the town center. These are dumb militia. I could ring the town bell, and that that basically just uh, enables them. Boom. So basically, you can ring the town bell. I believe there's a lot of one militia in order for villagers to go in the town center and fire arrows out of it. These are generally good enough to deal with most dark and feudal age units. Like uh, these militia will go down so easily. Uh, anyone, any real unit in the uh, feudal age as well, generally can't take town center uh, shots. So generally, most of your fighting is going to be in the castle age in this game. Advancing to the next stage is the best way to improve. So we're going to research man at arms. Man at arms will change all your militia units to the more powerful men at arms. 
Near the minimap at the lower right corner mm. of the screen is the idle villager button. Yeah. Click it and locate. I have no idle villagers. Yes. I'm amazing. Now that you're in the fuel lane, All right. you can upgrade your militia to men at arms. I'm doing that. Click the barracks, <laughs> then click upgrade. Let's get tracking as well. Basically gives you more line of sight. Oh, we got a knight. Let's go and call everyone in. So knights are a little threatening, but this one looks like he doesn't know what he's doing. He really doesn't know what he's doing. But yeah, men at arms, they have six uh, six attack now and they have 45 HP, which is interesting. Alright. I just killed them! Some of the triggers are weird in this game, but whatever. Longchance has invaded, stormed, and sacked the city of Perth. It's worse. He's captured the fabled Stone of Scone and declared himself King of Scotland. If we cannot bring about a victory in battle soon, then the Scottish armies will be too demoralized to put up any fight at all. If this mythical Scottish giant does exist, I wish he'd get his forces up to Stirling. And we shall next do battle. All right, so that is going to be the Battle of Stirling. Uh, hello, uh, uh, your actual first kind of skirmish, and uh, yeah, one of the basically just telling you how to play. Uh, it says that if you played Age of Empires one, you probably could start at six, and that's probably true. Uh, most of this stuff is pretty basic anyway if you play RTSs, so yeah. But I think that is enough for one video, so I'll see you guys next time.